Good everyone, B Asian Dad here. We're going to look into this Belkin Thunderbolt 3 Dock Pro. Hopefully it will be a good docking station for MacBook owners. Uh, we'll be looking at the temperatures as well as port speeds and we'll also check how this connects to a MacBook Pro with dual monitor setup. So I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can actually skip to the sections that you'll be interested in. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the ports starting on the front. On the right hand side we've got the headphone jack and then we have a full size SD card reader and then we've got a USB C port now this is USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and then we have a USB type A port which is USB 3.2 Gen 2 as well looking at the back of the dock starting on the right hand side we've got the AC port which is where you plug in the power adapter and then you've got the Thunderbolt port which is the upstream port so this is where you plug in the supply Thunderbolt 3 cable to the dock and this is connects to your computer and then we've got another Thunderbolt 3 port and then we've got a full size display port and then we've got the RJ45 Ethernet port and then four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which are Type A ports. The Belkin Thunderbolt 3 dock comes with a Thunderbolt cable. Now this is a USB-C to USB-C ends, and it is 80 centimeters long. Now it is able to actually pass power from the docking station to the computer of up to a maximum of 85 watts. Now that means with the 15 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pros, it will be on slow charge, but it will charge it up just on slow charge. Now for Windows computers, again, anything more than 85 watts will be on slow charge. So for example, things like this Dell XPS 15 I have here, it requires 130 watts, but it will charge it just on slow charge. You'll just get a symbol saying on slow charge. So it just drains the battery a little bit slowly, but it will still charge the battery up very slowly. As for the temperatures, when I took the measurements, my ambient temperatures was 26 degrees Celsius, and I took these measurements after 20 minutes. So first off, when the dock it was on idle, but it was charging the computer and it was connected to two monitors. And the maximum temperature on the dock was 32 degrees Celsius. And then I'll put the dock on load. So I had two 4K monitors connected as well as the Thunderbolt 3 hard drive read and writing as well as a traditional hard drive read and writing as well and the SD card read and writing as well and also had the network plugged in as well and that was going off. And it was also charging the laptop. And the maximum temperature on the dock was 37.5 degrees Celsius. So that's doing really well. That's just barely warm. So this is quite a cool dock. I plugged in a few different storage to test out the different port speeds on the Belkin dock. I also plugged in the same storage to the computer directly, which is the Dell XPS 15, and also compared it for you to see the different port speeds. So here is the SD card speed results of plugging into the Belkin dock and also the XPS 15 directly. As you can see, it's practically the same. And I plugged in a Severant Rocket Extreme Q, which is a Thunderbolt 3 SSD hard drive into the Thunderbolt port on the Belkin. And here is the speeds for it. And then I also plugged into the XPS 15 directly. And as you can see, it's nearly the same as well. And I have then also plugged in the Severant Rocket Extreme Q into the USB-C port at the front, which will also bring this this to USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. And I also plugged in a traditional USB 3 hard drive into the USB 3 2.1 Gen 2 ports. So here is the scores for it. First off, I'll just tell you the setup I currently have. Now, unfortunately, I don't own two 4K monitors. What I do have is one 27 inch LG 4K monitor here behind me and also have a 34 inch Dell W Quad HD monitor. So it's kind of like two 4K monitors. That's the best I can do. Now I'll just also tell you what they are connected by. So the LG 27 inch monitor is connected to the dock by DisplayPort and the 34 inch Dell monitor is connected by HDMI cable to this adapter I've got here. And that adapter when then goes to the USB-C, which connects to the Thunderbolt port at the back of this computer here. So you can connect, uh, if you've got a USB-C monitor, that will be the exact same idea as well. So I'm just using an adapter in between because I don't have a USB-C monitor with me currently at the moment. 
I'm going to connect this 13-inch MacBook Pro to the Belkin Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now this is a 2018 version of the MacBook Pro with the touch bar and I have updated to Big Spur. So let's connect this computer up to the dock here. So let's connect that up. We'll give it a few seconds for it to fire up the monitor. I can definitely hear the LG monitors fired up, which is great to see. It's detected that. And let's hopefully see if we should get the 34-inch Dell as well too, which is great. It can definitely see the hats all fired up, which is fantastic. Now I'm just going to move this one over here so we can see this a little bit better. Let's go to arrangement there. I can definitely see that is an extended mold. So I'm just going to show you that. So that's very quickly. That's great, and I'm just going to quickly just drag the screens around just to show you that it is in extended mode and not in mirror mode. Now, I'm just going to go quickly to the display, and we're going to see what resolution we have here. So, I'm going to go to the 34-inch Dell's display here, and I'm just going to hold down my Alt key or Option key, click on Display, a Scale, and then scroll all the way up, and I get 3440 by 1440 which is great. So that is pretty much at its maximum resolution for this display here. Now its refresh rate at the maximum is 50 Hertz. So that's all it can pretty much do, which is great good news to see. And let's go to the 27 inch LG monitor. So again, we'll do the same thing. Hold down the option key or alt key and click on scale. Thank you God. Scroll all the way up and I can see it's 3840 by 2160. So that's at its maximum resolution, which I'll just select right now which is great and unfortunately it does not give me a refresh rate on this at all so but at least it can do 4k i can definitely see that which is fantastic there now while we're at it i can definitely see that the computer is charging which is great so this is charging a 13 inch macbook pro this only requires 65 watts or 67 watts power so it should be able to charge that up if you've got a 16 inch or 15 inch it will do slow charge on that using this dock here, but still should be fine. And you should still be able to run your computer there quite happily. And I'm gonna to go to the network and I can definitely see the ethernet is working which through the dock, which is great to see. And of course I've got USB is running as well. So I can definitely see that. Now while we're at it, we'll go and just go back to the display. And I'm going to actually put this into close the lid mode just to see how this reacts as well for you because I know people will be asking that exact same thing. And again, we've got this fired up, which is great. And in just arrangement, it is in extended mode. Fantastic. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to do one more thing for you guys. And I'm going to put this computer to sleep. Ooh, I've got too many down here. Let me just move this bunch around a little bit just so I can see a little bit better. I'm going to put this computer to sleep and let's see if we can wake the computer, the MacBook Pro with just the keyboard and mouse. Now I don't have a keyboard connected but I've got a mouse connected so that's great. So let's go into sleep now. We'll just, let's just kind of jiggle it, waggle it and do what we need to do to see usually we wake itself up. And I can definitely see the computer, oh there we go, we've got it booted up. Fantastic. So you can actually wake the MacBook Pro using uh, USB keyboard and mouse connected to this Belkin Thunderbolt 3 dock. So I think this is a great solution if you want dual 4K monitors on a MacBook Pro. Great docking station it is. The Belkin Thunderbolt 3 Dock Pro definitely delivers on dual 4K outputs that it actually promises and even for Mac so that's great to hear. Has a great good build construction on this, has great port selections as well and they're very fast ports as well so I definitely can recommend this dock here. Now if you find this video informative or even enjoyed it or even just to support my channel smack that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button bottom screen I do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.